So I think this might be the major product. So there's, uh, they're really testing rearrangements here. Mm -hmm. um, so, and we have a lot of rearrangements. That would be a tough test question to, to think do all those rearrangements, but they did say show the major product. And we are expected to know, remember, that the big disadvantage to Friedel Crafts alkylation is all the rearrangements. So when you see a Friedel Crafts problem, you definitely should be thinking about possible rearrangements. Now, you guys were thinking about hydrogen shifts, so that was good, but maybe you weren't thinking enough about alkyl shifts. Yeah. So those are shifts that can happen here as well. First, we did a hydrogen shift that takes us from having primary carbocation character to having secondary carbocation character. But then we can do an alkyl shift that gives us tertiary carbocation. Of course, the original carbon here wasn't a full primary carbocation um, because it was attached to the chlorine, but it still had primary, car primary, primary carbocation character. And it was better to do the hydrogen shift, so we got a secondary carbocation. Uh, and it, this would be a case where probably numbering is very useful to make sure that everything is attached in the right places and you're not putting the carbons in the wrong place. So the moral here is when you see Friedo Crafts alkylations, you should definitely watch out for rearrangements and basically try to keep going until you get the most stable carbocation possible if you're looking for the major product. That would make sense? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, good. I would add some numbers here. One, two, three, and four. So this is going to be another Friedel Crafts alkylation. We don't have to go through the whole mechanism, but this carbon would end up attached to the number one, which is attached to the number two, which is attached to the number three. And the number four also has a halogen, so that's also going to do a Friedel Crafts alkylation, and that's also going to attach. And then we know the number one is attached to two methyl groups, and the number four is attached to two methyl groups. So for me, it helps to put in some numbers, um, but you guys got all the connections right without the numbers, so that's good. So if you have a halogen, we saw this in a previous problem. If you have more than one halogen, you can do more than one Friedel Crafts attack. And where are you going to attach? You're going to attach the benzene to the carbons that have the halogens. Okay. So what are we looking at now? 52, give efficient synthesis of the following compounds, beginning with benzene. The first one is 1-phenyl, one 1-heptanol. One is that part A? Yes. Okay. is give, give a synthesis. How can we go from the starting material to this product?
Yeah, so I think one of you thought that this was cyclic. Yeah, so it's not cycloheptanol. So it's good that you started by just drawing out the structure. We can't rely on the name. We have to draw out the structure. So there should be seven carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the number one carbon, we have the phenyl group. And on the number one carbon, we have the alcohol. And we need to come up with a way to synthesize this. What does this say here? H. Oh, okay. Oh, you're saying just add the whole thing? Yeah. yeah. So add that. There you go. So. Yeah. Um, I was just going to do that and then attach it with something, but that's probably the easiest. So we might as well have this come in attached to the carbon chain that we need. Just used to having the strings. <laughs> and I guess uh, aluminum chloride is the common uh, Lewis acid here. carbon chains by doing alkylations or alkanoylations, but the most convenient thing to do here is an alkaloil, mm -hmm. alkanoylation or acylation. And then what was our next suggestion? PCC. Well, actually, no, because it's a ketone. PCC is not going to do anything to it, so we have to do um, LALH4. Yeah. Okay. So PCC. Step one, step two, then step three. So is this an oxidation or a reduction that we're doing here? Reduction. Yeah, by adding hydrogens, we're doing a reduction. Uh, so here's a reduction to reduce the ketone to this alcohol. So if you want to turn a ketone into an alcohol, we can reduce it with lithium aluminum hydride. Suppose we wanted to turn this alcohol into this ketone. How would we turn this alcohol into this ketone? What can we add to the alcohol to turn it into this ketone? The, the now that would be an oxidation. Yeah. That's PCC. Oh. PCC is the reverse reaction. So. PCC is an oxidizing agent. That's something you probably are still going to need to use in the test. That's a good thing to remind yourself of. If you want to oxidize an alcohol into a carbonyl, PCC is a good way to go to turn it into an aldehyde or a ketone. Um, but if you want to reduce a aldehyde or a ketone to an alcohol, you use lithium aluminum hydride. That should make sense because here we need to add hydrogens. Well, we can add hydrogens. This hydrogen came from the hydride, and this hydrogen came from the hydronium over here. PCC is an oxidizing agent, so it would take us in this direction. So in this case, we didn't use PCC.